What's up all you wonderful cripples and non-cripples out there? Welcome to my channel. My name is Daz Bartley. And this is... Look guys, check out my merchandise jumper. Isn't it awesome? It's a bit weird. Walking around my town with my my own face on my chest, but there we go. Um, I'll talk about this in a, a later on video. But today's video is about adding Kodi 16.1 Jarvis onto an Amazon Fire Stick first generation. The next clip I'm about to show you I filmed earlier on. And it's basically a beginner's guide on how to install Kodi on your Amazon Fire Stick and install the, the Build Pulse CCM on there as well. It is quite a long video. Um, it is a beginner's guide, so I tried to slow things down. The video is roughly around 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I sped up the necessary bits that you didn't really need to watch, like the whole downloading of the files. I sped that up. I hope it helps you understand the way Kodi works, and I hope it was easy enough to follow. So enjoy, and I will see you in around 20 minutes. Okay, guys. Here we have the home screen of the Amazon Fire Stick. First generation. I'm sorry it's a little bit dark. I'm doing this on my TV. So hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is go to developer options on settings and turn ABD and unknown sources on. So I'll show you that now. I will have to do this in stages because I use the remote in my mouth. I won't be able to speak. So I'll show you that first step now. So make sure those two are switched on, otherwise you won't be able to get Kodi. Now that those are switched on, um, now you want to go to search at the top and type in downloader. Okay guys, you need to get the first one has the orange box and the white arrow. So you want to download that, let it install, <coughs> and then open it up. Okay, so now that's downloaded, it should open up for us. Now you've opened the app up, now you want to type in the address bar, HTTP dot dash dash, which it has put it in for you already. Then you want to type in troypoint.com forward slash Jarvis. I will put the writing in the video anyway. Now you type that in, you want to press download. It will connect to the internet and then it will download the Kodi. Now that troypoint.com forward slash Jarvis is the web link to download the Kodi app. Um, so once this is downloaded, we'll then, it'll come up and you'll say install and we'll install Kodi. Okay, it'll come up like this. You just press the down arrow a few times on the remote and then go across to install. Select install and it will install Kodi, as you can see at the very top left. I keep moving it out of, out of frame, sorry. Now you let this install 
The whole process usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, obviously, it depends on if you know what you're doing, of course. Okay, now that is installed. Um, don't open it, you want to go down to done. This is purely because you want to check, click done again. You want to check that it has actually gone into your apps. So you need to press the home button, which will take you back to your Amazon homepage. Scroll down to apps and check that Cody is there, which it is. So the next thing to do is open Cody. The bar will load at the bottom because it's the first time Cody opening. Take a couple of seconds. It should come up saying Jarvis 16.1. There we go. Now, there's nothing on this at the minute. You have to go to the next step, which is if we go to settings. Uh, sorry, my apologies. System. And then you go down to file manager. Okay, and then you go add source. And then you press select again, bring up the URL, and you'll want to type this into the URL bar. Okay, once that is typed in, you go down to done, hit select. Now you can rename it by clicking here, and most people call it Aries Wizard. Uh, but I'm going to keep it as magic. To be honest with you, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, well now that's on. Press the back button. Now if you go to system, file manager. Just to check that they're all there, which the repository is. If you go back again, if you uh, click on system, don't go down to file manager, just hover over system, press select. Now if you go down to add-ons, okay, then yeah, click okay. Sorry, it moved again. Now if you install from zip file, click on that go down to magic or whatever you have called it this is why I keep it as magic because it stands out so you click there open the repository and then open the zip file like that and now you'll see at the bottom right corner that it would have load the airs uh, airs project add-on enabled if you go to the repository sorry I'll go back again Install from repository you need to go to now. And then Airs Project. Program Add-ons. Airs Wizard. Install. Let the add-on enabled in the bottom right corner as you see. You have to go back to the home page of the Kodi. Like so, if you go across to programs, hit select, go down to program add-ons, hit select, and then airs wizard, hit select. It will now open the airs wizard. Now this is where you get the build. Um, the build that we'll be using today is of course Pulse. Pulse is, I think it's still the favorite build to have. It will take a while to open. It shouldn't take that long. There we go. Now it's already hovered over browse builds. As you can see at the top. Here. So if you go to browse build. Hit select. Now if you go down to pulse. There we go. Now it will come up saying 
get pin and um, so you have to go to that website http colon dash dash bit dot ly forward slash get build pin so let me just get that on my phone you can do it on the phone also you can scan the qr code as well it is only a four digit code let me just get mine up refresh there we go mine has come up with eight four four two so you just go across to enter pin and then we 8442. Okay, hit return. And it will now come up with Pulse CCM Jarvis. Now, I, I tend to go for the top one. Um, the top one is the latest one out. As you'll see in a minute, it'll bring up the information on the right. It should do. There we go. This week has had 32,574 um, builds put on to their devices. So we know this is a popular one. So you go to the right and click install. Now it will install the main... Um, it will in, it's installing the zip file at the minute, which is 223.59 megabytes. And then it will extract those files and there's usually around 13,000 files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward this now. And yeah, I'll see you in a minute when it's done. But we'll come up to the 13,000 file mark now. And that is done. It will come up saying, would you like to back up the skin? As it has just, um, just come up now. If you press no on that. And then it will come up saying, Cody needs to be closed. Press OK to attempt to close Cody. And if you press OK, it will then go off and go back to the Amazon home screen. Which it has done. Just press back again to prove it. There we go. Now, you go back onto Kodi. It will now open with the new Kodi. We have put on the, the new Kodi build, which is Pulse. And there we have the logo coming up there. It will look completely different now. It will look like the Pulse CCM build. Just a second or two. There we go. Now, this is the new pulse menu um we have movies i'm not going to um i'm not going to show you anything at the minute because it will come up with a load of add-ons now that will come up in the bottom right corner um i'm not going to be able to show you anything that usually takes around 10 minutes now this pop-up that's just come up this will always come up and um, you can just go to remind later or you can go to dismiss this will only come up every time you open Kodi. It will only come up the once. But it's good that it comes up because it tells you when the, the build have done an update. So I usually just go to dismiss. So here's the menu. We have movies. We have TV shows. M music. System. And it will work out if you like to do workouts. Um, you'll see at the bottom right corner now that boxes are starting to come up for the add-ons. So we have live TV, um, live streams. There's the boxes coming up now. Some of them will say failed, uh, like the Zen file says failed, but they do come up again with it updated. You'll see them all popping up now. You'll get that for the next 10, 15 minutes. Um, and there we go. That is the Pulse CCM Jarvis build for your Amazon's Fire Stick Kodi. Uh, this is the version 
17.1. There is a new version that's just come out called 17.1 Krypton. Um, I haven't added Krypton onto this. Um, I like, personally, I like to use the 16.1 version and Pulse CCM. There's nothing wrong with this version. I prefer the 16.1. The only difference with this than the 17.1 is that you can't, you don't get as many HD channels on the 16.1. Uh, but to be fair, I don't really watch HD. I don't really find them any different than normal. Obviously, you're going to get, you'll know you're streaming. The quality is not going to be as good as you're watching TV. Um, but that, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Kodi Pulse 16.1 Jarvis. I hope it wasn't too hard to follow, guys. If you did have any struggles, please write in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. But well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button down below. Even if you didn't enjoy this video, smash that like button down below. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please click on my face there. And just underneath that will be my previous video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to keep it wheeling.